mm-hmm. and that the Harvard scholars would accept it. But then you have some weird guys like Jaidwaita who kept on trying to, you see that it gets into the book selling point of view and people like Ramachar, they all wanted books that would be, that would sell best. And then they wanted to cut out. I talked with um, Dravida and I said, why are you taking out stuff about black people? Why are you taking stuff out about um, women and all that? I said, you, 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 you're, taking, you're taking that out from what Prabhupada wrote. And what he said to me? What it's did high Dravida? time. What? He said, it's high time. It's high time? What does that mean? It, it, high time, H-I-G-H-T-I-M-E. It's, it's, it's not a minute too soon. We have to do it right away. And the reason why they were doing that is you have people like uh, Frida Ananda who are starting this, you know, their their own college-based Christian consciousness. They're busy sitting there and not st- under trying to become devotees. They're g- doing that stuff so that Haridaya Ananda can get followers. Oh, that's why Prabhupada How- created the BBT to avoid all these things separate BBT entities so and he only had three people or two people to manage well, the whole yeah well right? the main thing with the G uh, with the BBT is he created the trustees like I like Hansa to prevent them from making changes to the books exactly that's yeah he made yeah. it clear in writing yeah yeah, they must so, have just uh, overheard a conversation somewhere. No, Prabhupada made it clear that he did not want he, he did, that that, that yeah. Istan would have the power. Why? Because yeah. they're selling books. If they wanted to use Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and Porky Pig because it would sell more books, they would do it. Right, right. They just put whatever they wanted to put in in order to... Um, in order to sell books. And that's Frida Ananda's point of view. He wants to do what it'll take to sell books and to attract college students. So if you have things about women having smaller brains than men, well, the college students will consider that horrible. (laughs) They will not like it even slightly, right? Yeah, right, right. Okay, but you have to take that chance because we're not writing for today's we're not writing. We're not writing for the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s college students. We're writing. We're the books are being published for the next 10,000 years. Yeah. And who knows what people's attitudes going to be in 10,000 years? Does it mean we have to keep on rewriting Prabhupada's books every 50 years to match the current style? the current philosophical understanding so that we can sell them. We should go to places and sell them. And people buy the book and said, wait a minute, it says that women have smaller brains than men. So they're not there to get educated. They're there to dominate the translation, right? Because in today's world, the student tells the teacher what to teach. <laughs> right, right. Does that make sense? Anyhow, I'm saying quite a few things. They're all completely 100% accurate. Just like everything I was saying about the Catholic Church, I think 